my dear light bulbs to another review of My Hero Academia, aka Boku no Go, aka Boku no Greatness, aka Boku no Hero Academia. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the light bulb army. So I'm not gonna lie to you. The first point I want to talk about is that the pacing, this was a setup chapter. I do not mind setup chapters. I'm not one of those type of people that are, if I don't see action or whatever, I'm bored. I don't like the chapter. I'm not that type of person. Maybe five years ago I was, but not anymore. Like I like setup chapters, but the pacing lately has been very, very slow. I don't know if it's because the mangaka is trying to think of, of ideas as he's writing, which is probably the case for every mangaka. But the pacing is kind of slow because we have like two or three chapters basically saying the same thing. Like, oh, we got to save Eri. We got to stop the eight priests of death. We got to save Eri, Eri. The same thing, like a couple of chapters. And this got it into the point where I'm like, okay, we understand the mission. I, I'm not even in the meeting. I read the chapter. It's like I, I've been reading the same chapter back to back is what I'm trying to say. And the, that means the pacing is very slow and I do not like that. There was an arc of Boku no Hero Academia where the arc was very, the arc was very slow paced and I really dislike that arc. Um, I forgot which arc it is at the moment. But yeah, I do not like when the pacing of something is way, way too slow. And right now it just feels that way. Um, in terms of Midoriya's character, He's still the same Midoriya, he still wants to save Eri, he wants to save people, and like, Sir Knight I said in this chapter, he's like, oh my, he has that burning passion inside of him, that heroic passion, you could say, and the same applies to Togata and things like that. I said Togata, it's Togio. Uh, somebody corrected me, uh, me on the, I don't know what's his name, I forgot. So, yeah. The pacing one is way too slow um, for my like. I don't know if everybody agrees with that, but pacing has been very slow. We saw Eri in this chapter. Um, we don't know much about her, but we could assume that she does not know what love feels like or whatever, like apparently love or anything like that. And the first time she felt different when someone touched her was when Midoriya hugged her and stuff, saying it's going to be all right. And... She said like his hand was warm and stuff. So I guess that's the first time in her life where she was not just seen as an experimental subject or whatever. And she was not loved by Midoriya, but you know, cared about is what I'm trying to say. And that was the chapter in the nutshell. We got more of Sir Night Eye's quirk, which I'm not gonna go too in depth into that. that that's really not that important unless he does something really crazy in the future, which I don't think Sir Night Eye is gonna sacrifice himself anytime soon or anything like that. And that was the whole chapter overall. I'm not gonna expand this review anymore because the, the things I'm gonna say is basically what I said the last time I reviewed my um, Boku no Hero Academia. So overall, um, the pacing's too slow for me. The characters are still their same old selves. I, um, and that's about it. Overall, I'm gonna give this chapter 6.5 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed this review. And if you disagree with me, then in the comment section below, just write it below. Or if you wanna say something in the comment section, then write it. But always remember to have a great day. Peace.